It is officially the first day after fall season starts and it is nine o'clock in the morning and it's cool out here. There's like no humidity. It's time to plant. Let's get the planted. Yeah. All righty. You're as tall as a banana tree. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you planting over here, honey? These are pineapples. All righty. So we decided we're going to move the pineapples to this back line. Um, only because uh, with winter coming and if we do get any freezes of frost, it's going to be a lot easier for us to cover a row of pineapples than to have a bunch of tarps all over the place trying to save these guys. Is that the Hawaiian ones? Yeah, these four are Hawaiian. These four? Oh, we got four of them now. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, more back there, too. Well, those are under uh, the tree, right? Well, they're where the papayas were. I want to get those moved underneath the oak tree. Okay. Well, if you want to, we can move some in this front row, too, honey. Yeah, we're going to have, well... I mean, that one we, we want to save for other things. But, I mean, if you want to make another row of pineapples, we can do that, too. Yeah. We'll and then... See what we got here. Yeah, because that's, it's just going to be easier that way for us. I think we're going to take this trellis out and use it when we put another row in. Well, then let's just leave it right there for right now. Yeah. So that way uh, we're not making extra work because we just want to plant today. That's yeah. all we're going to be doing is we're going to be planting our little hearts out. <clears throat> wow, these guys really did good for being in the odd places, you know. Yeah. Some of them don't look the greatest. That's okay. They'll come back. And if not, we'll just go to Walmart and buy ourselves pineapples and cut the tops off and just plant some tops. I'm going to put this in here with these flowers. Aw. Okay. Yeah, because when those flowers die. Careful. Yeah, because yeah, right now that's for the bees. Actually, I could probably, if you leave any blank, I'll just add some more. I'll plant some sunflower seeds and just let the sunflowers grow. We're going to have enough to fill all these and then some. Okay. I'm just getting started with the pineapples. All right. So you, you want me to wait till you're done then? Yeah. Okay. You got them on me. Look how blue that sky is. Oh. All right. So we will get back to work. All right, we are at the mailbox. So we are going to do St. Valerie. Is that carrot? Carrot. And then this one is somebody, we just got some seeds. And it just says carrot. We don't know what variety. So we're going to go ahead and plant a row of these because there's only a few in there. How small is it? Ooh, they're tiny. Tiny little seeds. So. Go ahead and get that done. What um, do you want to do it on the back side, or how do you want to plant them? We're excited. I can't. I'm so glad we're planting. It's such a nice day. It's still cool out, even though it's almost one o'clock. The humidity's low. It's a good day. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're in Florida for once. <laughs> now what we'll do is we'll wait until the seedlings pop up and then we will thin them out or possibly move them to some other area. That way we can grow a little more. But this mailbox bin is a really deep bin. So we're kind of glad we have these or this thing.
So we're gonna end up with two rows of those. Yeah. All right, and then we'll just uh, plant the rest in. So, so small. I think there, there's a hundred of them in that packet. <laughs> Oh, this stuff is making me itch. What's up? My, I uh, got into, when remember when we did the goat pen? I got in, I brushed up against some uh, Virginia creeper. Oh, yeah. And so, I'll have to show you guys my arms. All right, so this is the unknown carrots. Yeah. Looks like those seeds are a little bit bigger. A little bit. So how many rows did you get in? Probably about six. Six rows? Yeah. All right. And then we will figure out what to plant in the tires over there. I think we're gonna do, we're gonna do radishes and beets in the tires? Yeah, we can do that. All righty. All right. We got store or like a walmart variety and then we're doing the crimson giant radish these are the i think the white ones giant white ones so we are going to take this front row here and plant all these radishes in here in different spots so we're going to go ahead and get that done and then on the other side here We are going to do a couple different ones. The Detroit Dark Red Beet. And then in this one, there's oh, there's two different ones. Hold on, let's see what we got here. Okay, so this one is a Detroit Dark Red Medium Top and then a Detroit Supreme. I love pickle beets. So that's why I am planting beets this year, so I can pickle them. And we are going to plant these in these tires on the back side. So we'll go ahead and get going with this one. All right, she's getting it. The beets and the radishes done. The radishes are uh, a short crop. They only take 28 days to harvest. So we'll be harvesting those first. And then uh, we'll probably be get ready to start planting lettuces in those. We're gonna do Cosmos. These are really pretty flowers. I'm going to plant one or two seeds with my baby bell peppers just to bring in the pollinators over here and then um i'm going to then go to the next one uh donald has a doctor's appointment so he's going to go ahead and get himself ready for that so i am going to finish this up because we want to plant gotta plant the seeds okay asian yard long beans and we are going to plant them on the three back or the three tires in the back here on the swing set garden again we're hoping we will get another crop since our you know fall and winters are a little bit longer than normal people um, that are you know in the north but uh, i'm going to go ahead and plant several seeds in each of these and water it down all right next I'm going to this blue bucket never um, produced any peppers so I found some banana peppers and I'm gonna go ahead and plant them and see if we can get a small harvest for Donald because he's 
he's the one that likes the peppers. So I gotta go ahead and get this all planted too. Kind of looking these guys over and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, it wouldn't hurt to have some more flowers. You know, cause us ladies like flowers. So I am gonna do the yellow lemon sunflower and the velvet queen sunflower. Um, they only get about six feet tall, so they won't get very big, but it'll be a nice pop of color considering it's fall, you know, red, yellow, orange, spooky stuff. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get these done. All right, let's see what's next. Ah, Donald wants to try cilantro. So I think I'm gonna take this one here and I'm gonna fill it up with cilantro. And that one, I think I may just put some flowers in that one. Maybe I'll do some more of the Cosmos. Hmm. Okay, here's what the Cosmos seeds look like, which is pretty cool. And I am just gonna sprinkle them all over this bin. And then let's see how much I have left. And like I said, these are just a flower. And then I'm just gonna rub it all in. I'm leaving leaves in here because the leaves will uh, act as extra fertilizer when they break down. There you go, and then I'll water that too. All right, cilantro's in. Let's water it. Okay, I'm done. These are still what I have left over, but those I am going to wait until it gets a little bit colder. So that'll be about November, December. Uh, we'll figure, hopefully by then we'll have more things out here um, so we can plant even more. And we're going to have the front garden, um, front area tore up and we're gonna be planting some stuff in there as well. So tell me what you guys have all planted for the fall crops that you're wanting to grow. Doesn't matter what it is. Tell me down below in the comments. All right, green thumb always. <laughs> <laughs> you all have a good day and we'll see you on the next one.